Okay, so in trying to decide out of all of my lights, which is my personal best light for a power outage, I came across these two lovely gems. Now, while they'll probably be the last choice that I pick, I did immediately think rave. <laughs> Hello, my name is NVR and I'm an addict. I'm addicted to emergency lighting. I'm such a loser. <laughs> but seriously guys, trust me when I say that these aren't even all my lights. They're just mere representation of their type of lights. I've got candle lanterns, oil lanterns, and LED lanterns. I've got headlamps, camping bulbs, and emergency power outage bulbs. I've got solar flashlights, solar lanterns, and solar crank lights. I've got USB lights, USB solar lights, super bright work lights, and multicolored lights. I've got USB powered lamps. I've got small flashlights and big flashlights. I've got cheap flashlights, really cheap flashlights, and really, 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 really cheap flashlights. I've got really old lights, weapon mounted lights, homemade lights, and even motion lights. But in spite of all these really great sources of light that I have, when it absolutely comes down to my go-to lighting for ambient light, for some reason I find myself constantly coming back to this ugly light by Asher. It's A-S-C-H-E-R. Now my wife originally bought this light and when she pulled it out of the box, I immediately thought, Oh, come on. Seriously? I mean, the light is so ugly that I quite honestly didn't know how I was going to do a video on it with a straight face. <clears throat> So I bought another one. And I'll tell you why, it's just because of its sheer brightness and it doesn't have all the harshness because of this dome surrounding it, so it doesn't have the harshness of the LEDs, but that's not the only thing that it has going for it. You see this little hole right here? Yeah, I don't really know what that's for. Now going over to your controls, this is obviously your power button. This is your brightness control setting, so you just press and hold to adjust, press and hold to adjust. This is going to be the dimmest setting. This button here actually controls your color temperature. So you have on one end of the spectrum, you have a warm color temperature, and on the other end, you have a more white or bluer color temperature, and you can pretty much pick and choose everything in between. Now, since these two buttons are constantly variable, meaning that they transition smoothly, you can pretty much pick your level of brightness and color temperature that's perfect for you. So take a look at this. Right. Now I've had to change my light settings on my camera in order to be able to record this. So as you can see from that demonstration, you can pick whatever level of brightness you want, whatever color temperature that's ideal for you. So that's pretty much one of the reasons why I use this light as my go-to source of lighting because I can pick that perfect light. Now I don't know how long the battery will last on full brightness, but I did have it on this dimmest setting from October 25th to November 4th. So that's what, October 31 days? Um, that's 10 days or so, something around there. And around um, 4.45 p.m., 5 o'clock, I did notice that it started to blink a little bit, let me know that it needed to be charged. And now it does come with a 2200 milliamp battery, and it does charge via a USB port. Not a micro USB, but USB port, your standard USB port, which is kind of a departure what the other manufacturers are doing. So guys, in closing, I'm gonna leave you with a couple snapshots or pictures of the light output of one of these lights because I feel it's a truer indicator of how bright these lights are as opposed to the video that my phone takes. My phone takes really wonky video of light sometimes. It's either too dim, too bright. It's not really a true indicator, but I also wanna leave links in the description to all the lights I've shown here. If you're interested or curious about one of the lights I've shown here, please leave a comment, guys, and I'll get around to it addressing it as soon as possible. But again, if you're looking for a bright, rechargeable, ambient source of light that's not too harsh, these are my go-tos. Now you're not going to win any design awards, but you'll more than likely be happy with one of these. And I know they're just fragments of a world where your absence all I get to see. Take me back to the planet, the planet where you and I are still meant to be. Cause I'm Next to me, yeah, I'm
Oh, come on. Cereals. Darn it.